Hi my dear doctors, today we are going to discuss about the anatomy, the general anatomy of bone of upper limb. We will start from the scapula, the flat bone. Okay. So this is what the anterior view of the scapula. This is the posterior view on the back side, the lateral view, the medial view, the superior view and the inferior view. We will start from the anterior view of the scapula. So here in front of us the present uppermost part of the scapula. This is what the superior angle of the scapula. The superior angle. Okay, I will zoom it. This is the superior angle. And opposite to that the superior angle we have the inferior angle at the lower region. So superior angle on the upside and inferior angle on the lower side and the medially rotated if if we rotate the scapula medially okay so at the medial side there is a flat area okay and this area is a medial border so we can say that this is what the medial border of the scapula and this flat area which is in front of us this area is the sub scapularis fossa because it is the area where the attachment of the subscapularis muscle and if we look the lateral side of the scapula we have a white portion here that is the cartilage okay and it is an articulating surface of the scapula which articulate and form a bone form a joint with the head of humerus so this is what called as glenoid cavity where the head of humerus fits above the glenoid cavity we have an area and below the glenoid cavity we also have a structure so below the glenoid cavity we have the infraglenoid tubercle the infraglenoid tubercle present below the glenoid cavity and above the glenoid cavity we can see here okay and this area that is the supraglenoid tubercle so we study about the two tubercles present above and the presence below the glenoid cavity that is the uh, superior glenoid tubercle and the inferior glenoid tubercle above and below the glenoid cavity now if you look the posterior surface of the uh, scapula we have a lot of structures here so begin from again the same that on the above we have the superior angle on the below we have the inferior angle on the medial side we have the medial border and there is a spine there is a bone which divides the scapula a mild upper area and the large lower area so the area or the bone which separate that is the supra or scapular spine the scapular spine is this area okay and above which there is a flat bone and below below that there is a another flat bone so these are the areas where the attachment of supraspinatus muscle and infraspinatus muscle present okay so this is what the spine of scapula and just down if we come down a little bit so this area is called as the lower lip of the spine of scapula okay so this is the lower lip we can easily see here that this is the lower lip okay we can see here that the lower lip of the spine of scapula and this is what the upper lip or we can say the superior lip okay or the upper lip of the spine so now we understand that this is what the spine of the scapula okay this is what the spine of scapula and above which the line we can see here that is the upper lip of the spine and this is what the, the lower lip of the spine now this spine process let's go to the lateral side toward the joint okay and form a joint 
with the clavicular bone so above the area that is here we can see the articulating surface of the clavicle if we rotate the joint here okay we can see that here is the articulating surface a small articulating surface and this articulating surface is uh, present for the formation of joint with the clavicular or acromion side of the uh, clavicle bone so this is what the articulating surface of clavicle okay which is present on the end of the spine now here there are two further structures that is the acromion angle and this is what the acromion bone so we can see that the spine okay the spine come forward 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 and form an acromion process or the acromion and this is what the acromion angle the acromion angle the acromion joint sorry bone and here the articulating surface of the clavicle now we complete the lateral portion we complete the posterior side and we also complete the anterior side of the scapula but we left the superior and the inferior area so let's go through the superior area if you look from the above side on the superior side of the scapula we have a structure i, I already said that the articulating surface we can also see from the superior angle superior side and the acromion bone and here is the bone that is what we call as the coracoid process this is a tubercle like structure or uh, protuberance of bone or the bone which is present above the glenoid uh, cavity okay and that area is called is that bone is called as the acromion sorry the coracoid bone this bone is for the attachment of uh, muscle okay and which attach from this area and go to the uh, humerus that is called uh, coracobrachialis muscle which mainly attach to the acromion sorry coracoid process of the scapula so here we have the coracoid coracoid bone and behind the coracoid bone if you look then there is a notch like area okay there is a deep area and this deep area what we call this this area is the scapular notch so we can see from the superior side the scapular notch and this is the superior border so the superior border the superior border start from the superior angle this is the superior angle superior angle goes okay goes uh, laterally forming the superior border then the superior border form a deep area and this deep area is called as the supra scapular notch and this scapular notch then again come up and forming a bone a, pro, a, a bound and this bone we call as coracoid bone now we complete the superior view of the scapula also and inferior view there is only two things that number first the inferior border okay and the lateral border on this side we can see okay this is the lateral side that is away from the body medial axis of body so we can see this area and this uh, sharp border is called as the lateral border so we complete the scapula okay in next video we will discuss about the humerus